My name is Sepcat, I am 16 years old, I am a high school student, and today I'm going to try to solve the 10 world's hardest math problems brought to me by Moonpreneur.com. The Four Color Theorem Can every map be colored with just four colors so that no two adjacent regions have the same color? Well, this sounds too easy. Okay, I have it right here, and none of the two colors can uh, touch each other, so... If I have yellow here, I cannot put yellow here again because then they'd be touching. Okay, this can't be too hard. Okay, well here I do red. Oh, green, blue, green, yellow, blue, yellow, green, red, and purple. I did it. Next question. Number two, Fermat's last theorem. The problem is, there are no three positive integers, a, b, c, that satisfies a, n plus b, n equals c, n for n greater than two. Well, of course there is. Okay, well, if they want the n greater than two, then they should just make the a, b, and c. There you go, 5,000 n plus 6,000 n plus 7,000 n. If you do that, it's, it's n squared. n squared, right? And n squared is n times n and 2n 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 is bigger than 2 because there's also an n there so n is greater than 2 there you go number three the monty hall problem you're on a game show with three doors one hides a car the others goats after choosing a door the host reveals a goat behind another door. Do you switch? Oh, I actually know this one. You do switch because uh, the first time picking, you only had a 33% chance of getting the car. But then the second time, you get to pick because you see that one of them is a goat already. You can only pick between a goat and a car. And if you if you get to choose now, it's actually a 50% chance that you get the car. And I don't know. It's really stupid. Next one. Number four, the traveling salesman problem. What's the shortest possible route that visits each city exactly once and returns to the origin? Oh, well, this doesn't look so hard. Okay, so if you went this way, it would be five plus three plus seven. That's like 15. And then uh, 16, 18, 21. Oh, no, but you go this 21, 26, and 34. 477. There you go, that's the fastest route. Number 5. The twin prime conjecture. Are there infinitely many prime numbers that differ by 2? Yes. I don't know what the answer actually is, but there's a 50% chance I was right, so... Number 6. The Poincaré... 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 Number 6. The Poincaré, Poincaré, this guy's conjecture. Can every simply connected closed three manifold be homophobic? No, no, that's not. Can every simply connected closed three manifold be homophobic? No, connected closed three manifold be homophobic. Oh my god. Closed three manifold be homomorphic to the three sphere? Well, last time I said yes, so let's go with no. Number seven, the Goldbach conjecture. What's with all these people and their conjectures? Can every even integer greater than two be expressed as the sum of two prime numbers? Mm, well, I look at this image and I see that actually all of them are greater than two. So my answer is yes on this one. Number eight, the Riemann hypothesis. Do all non-trivial zeros of the Riemann zeta functions have their real parts equal to half? And then this is the image, which is just so easy. Okay, so first of all, it says n is one. So this one we can actually place here because n is one. And then one is one to the power of s. And s is actually this c with a cd it's a french c hold on yeah now because n equals one well he said that already so that can go away and then we have this e and the eight and i don't know why the eight's like that so we're gonna place that over here and we're actually gonna turn this uh 90 degrees so now it says 80 um so i don't know why they're like that let me fix that okay so s equals 80 one divided by 1c 81 divided by 1c s 
And what do we get if uh, if we divide 81 by 1c? 81c. So s equals 81c. But don't forget, if you take the equals, grab this bracket, put it over here, turn this 80 degrees as well, and also turn this one 80 degrees. I've been saying 80, but I mean 90. This looks like a face. And he's going like, <gasps> S81C. And you see, S81. And that's the answer. Number nine, the Collatz conjecture. Starting with any positive integer n, the sequence n comma n slash two comma three, okay, whatever eventually reaches one well i mean yeah it does eventually reach one usually you read formulas from left to right the most right it says zero one. Zero one is indeed one so i don't know why this was a hard question really um number 10 navier stokes existence and smoothness Do solutions to the Navier-Stokes equations exist, and are they smooth? Let me rewrite the equation on top. Okay, P, oh, that's very big. P bracket uh, AV divided by AT plus V. I don't know why I went into caps lock, but okay. Dot triangle. Well, I don't know how to write the triangle. So V parenthesis equals minus triangle again. I can't do that. P plus triangle dot T plus F. Okay, we can get this image out of here. P A V A T V V P T F. This just sounds like someone beatboxing. Well, I'd say that that beatboxing sounded pretty smooth. <laughs> 